Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up an OS Ticket Server Help Desk on Ubuntu running on Azure. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Azure and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now this particular image comes with pre-installed OS Ticket, Apache, MySQL, MariaDB and so much more. Anyways, from this marketplace listing, you want to click on Get It Now to get started. After that, simply click on Continue. And then you would be brought to this product page from where you want to click on create. And then you would be redirected toward this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So choose the subscription that you have, choose a resource group by either creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one and then give your virtual machine a deployment name. So I'm going to call mine as OS ticket. After that, choose the region or zone where you want to deploy your virtual machine. Scroll down, make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box scroll down and choose the size according to your requirements and then for the authentication type i am going to go with the ssh public key authentication and then finally give yourself a username so i'm going to call mine as cis and then click on review plus create after that it is going to run a validation process now once the validation process is done simply click on create over here now this time around it is going to prompt you to download the private key and create resource so click on it and download the private key in a secure folder because this is the private key that we would be using to connect to the SSH terminal of our virtual machine. After that, you need to wait for the deployment process to finish. Now once the deployment process is done, the next step is to connect to the SSH terminal of our virtual machine. For that, we can simply click on go to resource, then click on this connect over here and then choose SSH. After that. We're going to simply copy this command and paste it inside a command prompt or a powershell and then we're going to replace this private key path for the path where we have downloaded our private key. After replacing the path for the private key, simply hit enter and when you're prompted, type in yes and hit enter once more. So that is going to connect this command prompt to the SSH service of our virtual machine. So the very first thing that I want to do within this SSH terminal is that I want to switch over to the super user. So for that, type in the command sudo space hyphen i and then hit enter. And after that, what we want to do is that we want to configure our database and our Apache for OS ticket installation. For that, we are going to be needing some command and to copy the command, simply click the link in the description box to come to this step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up OS ticket on Azure, AWS and GCP. And from here, we are going to copy this command, which is going to allow us to change the password of our MariaDB or MySQL. So paste it inside over here and then hit enter and then type in the new password. After that, it is going to open up the MariaDB shell. Now insert the MariaDB shell. The very first thing that we want to do is that we want to create a new database for our OS ticket to use. So for that, simply head back over to the blog post and copy this command, which is going to create a database with the name ticket. So paste it over here and then hit enter. After that, we also want to create a new user for our OS ticket to access this database. So for that, simply copy this command which is going to create a new user with the username ticket user and the password being this one. Now make sure to change the username and the password according to your requirements or your needs or your wants. So simply paste this inside the SSH terminal then hit enter. After that, we also want to grant this user all types of privileges. So for that simply copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal. And then finally, we want to apply all of these privileges. So for that, we need to copy these two commands. Well, the first one is flush privileges which is going to apply the privileges and then we are done with setting up the database so we can simply exit from the MariaDB shell. Now the next step is to set up our Apache and in Apache what we want to do is that we want to create a new configuration file. So for that simply copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal which is not only going to create that file but it is also going to open it up. Now inside this file what we're going to do is that we're going to simply copy these commands and paste it inside the file and then we want to change the server name and the server alias for our domain or in this case our IP address of the virtual machine. Now to get the IP address simply head back over to portal.azure, click on overview, copy this public IP address of your virtual machine and paste it inside the file, the configuration file right in front of server name and also in front of server alias. Once that is done simply hit ctrl o, hit enter to save the file and ctrl x to exit from the file. Once that is done, we also want to set up a new virtual host. For that, simply copy this command and paste it in the SSH terminal, then hit enter. Now at the very end, 
of setting up Apache, we want to restart the services of Apache. For that, type in the command sudo systemctl space restart space Apache2 and then hit enter. Now we are done with setting up the prerequisites. Now we can move on to the OS ticket installer. For that, simply head back over to portal load Azure, copy the IP address once more, paste it inside a new tab and then hit enter. Now this is going to open up the OS ticket installer on your browser and as you can see that we do meet the minimum requirements so after that we can click on continue. Now here you need to provide three different sections of information the very first one being your help desk so I'm going to call my help desk as cloud infrastructure services and I'm going to provide a default email as test at test.com. Now make sure to provide a valid email address. The next section is about setting up an admin user so give the details about the admin user. Provide the login credentials as username and password and then move on to the next section which is database settings. Now every database or every table inside our database is going to have the prefix OST and the database that we are using is the local host one. And after that we are going to provide the name of the database that we have created which was ticket. And then we are going to pass in the username that we created for OS ticket which was ticket user by default unless you have changed it. And then we are going to provide the password for our user. And once that is done, we can simply click on install now. Now once the installation process is done, you would be prompted with this congratulations message. And it tells you that your OS ticket is hosted on this URL so we can open it up in a new tab. And your control or staff control panel is hosted on this URL so we're going to open that up in a new tab as well. So heading to our OS ticket help desk, we can see that we can open a ticket or check status of our previous ticket. And if we move on to our OS ticket control panel. We can actually log into it using the admin credentials that we created which was test admin 123 and the password for it. And once that is done simply click on login to actually log into the staff control panel for OS ticket. Anyways that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And also make sure to check out the links in the description box for the step by step blog post guide on how to set up OS ticket on Azure and also for the marketplace listing for OS ticket on Azure. And finally if this video has helped you in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.